Hello to all my fellow styrene users and abusers. This is George coming to you once again from the basement annex at Kitchen Table Scale Models. Um, just a little video. Just want to share a discovery of sorts I made today about a, a product that many of you may be aware of, but if you're not, I thought I'd make you aware of it and show you a little bit about uh, show you a little bit about how I did it and uh, how it worked. Um, this is the MCW Texture Lacquer, um, available from MCW Finishes in three different colors, black, white, and light buckskin. I, for some reason, I think there was a fourth color that they were out of stock on, but I could be dismembering that. Uh, in any case, um, I, I bought this because I want to, you know, I think it's a, I really want to do some vinyl tops on some cars, um, and I like, I, I, I I've got vinyl top kits, and I'm just not excited about using one of those, and the masking tape idea kind of, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, I, I may end up doing that if the paint doesn't work, but um, so far, so good with this. Um, I sprayed this tonight with, um, this, this is this is a roof for the 1931 Rolls-Royce Henley convertible by Monogram, which I am building for the uh, model car videos, um, Model Car Videos Facebook page group build uh, co-sponsored by uh, Billy Bear of uh, Billy Bear Lazy Modeler YouTube channel. If you don't know Billy's channel, go check it out. Um, he only started a, a couple months ago and he's putting out some really nice stuff. Uh, good guy, deserves your support. Go say hi. Um, anyway, um, so so yeah, this is this is for the uh, for the Rolls Royce. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at that texture. I'm gonna zoom in rather than try to pick it up because I think you'll see it better. But uh, this is the texture. Um, it's it's a uh, maybe it's not 100% realistic for the uh, canvas tops that these cars would have had back in the 30s. But um, you know it's it's close enough. I wanted to give it a texture look. Um, I originally tried to spray this. I, I, my normal airbrush setup is a uh, Badger Patriot uh, Extreme, 105 Extreme, uh, with a 0.3 needle. I pretty much use that for everything. I knew that wouldn't work instinctively because this stuff has texture in it. And I, a 0.3 needle is, it just wasn't going to work. So I stepped up to my uh, one of my other older Badgers. Uh, I think it was a single action that I used uh, with, with a 0.5 needle instantly clogged um it, it's a siphon feed and not a not a gravity feed which i've really come to like the gravity feeds but this isn't about airbrushing this is about this paint so anyway um i ended up spraying with uh with this it's a badger 105 patriot with a 0.7 needle in it um after my first uh failure at trying to spray a spoon um, I reached out to Model Car uh, MCW and asked them, you know, what do you, what do you recommend for airbrushing? And at that point, they told me minimum 0.5 um, and run it about 20 to 25 pounds. So I stepped up to the 0.7 and I ran it at about 22 pounds when wide open. Uh, I set my air pressures when the brush is wide, you know, push, pushing maximum air. Um, if you don't do that, you're going to lose pressure. If somebody, if you're told to spray at 20 pounds and you set it for 20 pounds, uh, depending upon your needle size and your brush, when you pull that thing open, you're going to you're going to drop by as much as four or five pounds. So anyway, um, so that's what I used. That's how I did it. Um, I, I have three bottles. I've got the black texture. Still have a full bottle there. Um, I have the white texture, which I think I'm going to end up using on my '67 GTO build. And I have about a half a bottle, or maybe a little more than that, a little more than a half a bottle left of the buckskin. Um, so I got enough there to do another roof. Uh, so one of these bottles will give you enough to do two cars. And um, I, I, think it's a, I think it's a great bargain. I think it's a great product. Uh, recommend it highly. If you uh, found this video helpful, please like. Uh, if this is the first time you've watched one of my videos, um, I, I invite you to watch some others, and if you like them, subscribe. And um, if you don't, if you don't like this, that's okay. Um, you can just, uh, well, heck, if you don't like this, why did you watch it this long? <laughs>